Before starting, let's watch this first. People always ask what I'm thinking when I sit like this, quiet, still, almost too composed. But stillness doesn't mean silence, it means strength. I wasn't always this sure of myself. There was a time when I shrank into the background, mistaking humility for invisibility. But life, life has a way of teaching you that your softness is not your weakness. Hi, I'm Theo, temporary employee, ninth job this month, tenth coffee today. People think temping is just paper pushing and awkward icebreakers. But I've handled office mergers, rogue printers, and one guy who thought the copy machine was haunted. Am I overqualified? Technically, yes. Do I still show up every day with this coffee, this tablet, and a dream? Also, yes. Here's the secret. You don't need a title to make an impact. You just need to care a little more than expected. Imagine this. You're scrolling through YouTube or Instagram, and suddenly a super lifelike animated character pops up on screen. It's not a real person, but it's talking like one. Smooth voice, natural expressions, you pause, you're hooked. Now here's the wild part. That entire video clip you just watched? Made from a single image and a bit of AI magic. No camera, no microphone, no crew. Just a laptop and some seriously cool tools. Are you camera shy or tired of being on video? What if an AI avatar could do the talking instead? That's exactly what I'm going to show you today. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to take any photo, even a cartoon or a Pixar-style avatar, and turn it into a talking video presenter. We're talking full lip sync, natural speech, and even a few subtle head tilts that make it feel eerily real. And don't worry, I'm breaking this down into three super simple steps. First, we'll create our avatar's image, then we'll give it a voice, and finally, we'll bring it to life with an AI animation tool. I've used these tools to make my own digital presenter, and trust me, it's really impressive. Plus, stick around for a bonus tip on using your avatar with a green screen effect to put it in any scene. If you can type a text and upload a file, you're already 90% there. Ready to meet your digital twin? Let's get into it. All right, first things first, we need an avatar. Now, your avatar can be anything you want. Think cartoon, Pixar style, anime, even something super realistic. Totally up to you. To make one, you can use any AI image tool out there. Stuff like Leonardo, Artistly, Midjourney, or Artspace. But for this example, I'm using ChatGPT's built-in image generator. Yup, it can actually create images now just from a simple description. Pretty cool, right? All you have to do is type in a prompt that describes the character you have in mind. Like, let's say you want a friendly, professional-looking guy in his 30s with a warm smile. Easy! You can get as detailed as you want. Hair color, style, clothes, background, the whole vibe. The more specific, the better. Then, ChatGPT will whip up an image for you. Might take a minute, but the results are usually pretty awesome. If it's not exactly what you pictured the first time, no worries. Just tweak your prompt and try again. Maybe switch up the hairstyle, lighting, or background until it feels right. And here's a pro tip. If you're not sure how to word your prompt, just ask ChatGPT to help. I did that when I was creating an avatar for one of my videos. I wanted a Pixar-style character, told ChatGPT what I was looking for, and it gave me a great starting point. I just refined it a bit, and boom, avatar done. So I used this prompt to create the AI avatar. Create a Pixar-style male avatar, sitting behind a desk, looking straight. Early 30s, clean-shaven with sleek, side-parted hair and sharp eyebrows. He wears a minimalist jacket over a turtleneck. The background is a starry sky blended with a futuristic office. As you can see, the avatar photo looks great. The face is clear and directly facing the camera. This is exactly what we want for the next steps. When generating your avatar, aim for a neutral expression and a simple background. 
This makes it easier to animate and, if needed, remove the background later. Once you have your avatar's picture, save the image to your computer. We've got our actor. Now let's give it a voice. So, I wrote a short script for my avatar. If writing isn't your thing, you can even ask ChatGPT to help draft a script for you. Once you have the script text, head over to Eleven Labs, which is an amazing AI text-to-speech platform. After signing up, you simply paste the text of your script into Eleven Labs and choose a voice you like. You can pick from many preset voices, male, female, different accents, or even clone your own voice. I think a warm, friendly tone goes well with my avatar's personality. With one click, Eleven Labs turns your text into speech. In seconds, you can have a crisp audio file of the script, and it sounds incredibly realistic. The intonation and clarity are just like a human voice. Eleven Labs is known for its high-quality, natural-sounding voices. I play the audio back to make sure I'm happy with it. Maybe tweak a word or punctuation in the text if the delivery needs slight changes. Sometimes adding a comma can change the pause for better flow. When you are satisfied, you can download the voiceover file. It's usually an MP3 or a WAV file. Now I've got an audio recording of what my avatar will say. Our avatar has a voice. Don't worry if this seems technical. It is super easy. You literally type or paste text and hit generate. If you can send a text message, you can do this. Okay, now we have a picture and we have audio. It's time for the real magic, making that picture talk. Now, there are many AI tools available to create a talking avatar from any picture you have. Kling AI is a good one. But today, I am using another AI tool, which is called Hedra. Hedra is a cutting-edge AI tool that animates images and syncs them with audio. In fact, Hedra AI revolutionizes video creation by allowing anyone to generate expressive, talking characters from a single image. So, just go to Hedra.com, click on the Sign Up button in the top right corner, and create a free account. Once you create your account and sign into Hedra, you should see these three options in the center. Just go ahead and click on the video. If you don't see these, just go over to the left sidebar and click on the video icon. Go down to the bottom where you can enter the prompt and customize the settings for the video. I'll keep it on Hedra Character 3. I'm going to keep the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 as I want my video to be horizontal. You could choose vertical or square though. Here, you can choose the resolution. 720p is the highest resolution. But I like to keep it at 540p, which is enough for my requirements and also consumes fewer credits than the other one. Now I'm going to come over here and click on Audio Script. You can upload your pre-recorded audio file from here. You can also record audio directly in Hedra, or you can also generate speech just like we did on Eleven Labs. I'm going to click on Upload Audio. I'm going to choose the MP3 that I generated inside Eleven Labs. Here, you can edit the duration of your audio. You can also remove the background noise or change the voice entirely using the AI Voice Changer option. I am just going to keep it as it is. And click on Add to Video. Next, I'm going to click on the Start Frame. Here, I'm going to upload the image I created earlier. You can also generate an image or capture an image here. Now here, you can add a prompt to tell Hedra how your character should show emotions and do hand gestures. This is completely optional. However, I added a prompt here to tell the AI precisely what I want my character to do. I will give all the prompts in the description below. If you hover your cursor over the arrow, it'll tell you how many credits it's going to take to generate the video. As I mentioned earlier, if you choose a lower resolution, you will spend fewer credits. Also, 
the more audio you have, the more credits it's going to take. You can see how many credits you have if you look in the bottom left corner. When you sign up for a free plan on Hydra, you get 300 free credits. Not surprisingly, Hydra has gotten very busy recently. Now, you can still generate your videos for free, but you might find when you submit your prompt that you get a warning telling you that their servers are busy and you're going to have to wait. If you want to skip the line and not wait, well then you will just need to upgrade your plan to the minimum, which is $10 a month. Then once you're ready, just click the arrow to submit. Hedra analyzes the facial features in the photo and the sound of the voice, and then it creates a video of your avatar speaking. And it usually just takes a couple of minutes to generate the videos. The first time I saw my still photo start talking, I honestly got chills. The lips move perfectly in time with the audio, and even the facial expressions look natural. The result is surprisingly lifelike. The avatar looks like a real person speaking the lines I wrote. It's wild. The technology has gotten so good that the lip movements are fluid and expressive. In our preview, my avatar is saying the script with realistic mouth movements and even some head motion. If something looks off, Hedra lets you adjust and try again, but nine times out of 10, it's spot on. If you're happy, just click on the download button to download the video to your computer. By the way, you can generate multiple videos at a time based on your plan. And there we have it, a talking avatar. If you followed along, you should now see your own avatar speaking with the voice you gave it. Feel free to generate again if you want to try different settings or a different voice. But in essence, you just brought a photo to life. And that is how you can create a talking avatar video from scratch. Hey there, welcome to the channel. This is your space to slow down, zoom out, and actually make sense of the digital world we're living in. I'm your host, part human, part AI, and fully committed to helping you cut through the noise. Today's topic? It's one of those that sounds simple until you try explaining it to your neighbor and end up questioning your life choices. But don't worry, we'll walk through it step by step, and by the end, you'll not only get it, you'll know exactly how to use it. Let's dive in! Now, here's a bonus tip to make your avatar even more useful. Use a green screen effect to turn your avatar into a presenter on any background. This part is optional, but it can really up your video production game. The idea is to remove the avatar's background so you can overlay it on top of other videos or images like your slides, or a different video scene. How do we do that? There are several ways to do that. The easiest way is to remove the background of your avatar image once it is generated in ChatGPT, and then use a solid background color. Bright green works well. And later use that image to create the video in Hedra. Another way is to remove the background of the video you generated in Hedra. There are many tools that can remove the background for you. I personally use Canva. You can use Canva to remove the background from your avatar image or even the video. I personally prefer the first method. Let me show you how to do it. First, upload the image generated in ChatGPT. I will upload this image I created for this demo. Then click on Remove Background. Once the background is removed, Choose the green color as the background and then download the image. Now upload it to Hedra and follow the same process of generating the video as we did earlier. In my opinion, this process works much better than removing the background from a video. Once the video is ready, download it. Now, you can use any video editor to remove the green background of the video. Camtasia and Filmora are my favorites. You can also use Canva to do this.
Once you remove the background, you can use this AI avatar on any video as an overlay, and it will appear as if the avatar is presenting the video or giving a demonstration. I could place my avatar over my PowerPoint slide. You can also overlay the avatar onto any video. For example, have your avatar pop up in the corner of your YouTube video to deliver a message. This trick basically lets your AI character appear anywhere you want. It's like having a virtual you ready to present on any stage. So, definitely experiment with background removal. It can make your avatar videos much more dynamic and engaging. Let's wrap up what we've done. We started with just an idea, and now that idea has a face, a voice, and it talks on camera. In three steps, we created an AI avatar video from scratch. We designed an avatar with ChatGPT, gave it a voice with Eleven Labs, and brought it to life with Hydra. How amazing is that? Just think, a process that used to require actors, cameras, and studios can now be done with AI tools on your laptop. I hope this tutorial showed you not just how to do it, but also that you can do it. If I could create my first talking avatar and have fun doing it, you can too. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tips and tutorials. I will see you in the next video.